get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's Good get. morning, everybody, and welcome back. Well, tis the season to cook with cranberries. You know, cranberries are more than just that a bowl of cranberry sauce that you see on the Thanksgiving table. Wisconsin's the top cranberry producer in the country. And you know, you can do so many different things with cranberries, cranberry muffins. Uh, this is my cranberry chicken bake and my family loves it. I think yours will too. Just four ingredients. That's one of the things I love so much about it. So for people who say I don't have time to make dinner, you have time to make this. I promise you do. So basically we're going to just spray a casserole dish with cooking spray and then take just depends on how big the, the chicken breasts are or how many people you've got to feed in your family. Uh, three to six boneless, skinless chicken breasts and line them up in your casserole dish. These happen to be really big guys, so we'll just do three. And then I'm going to make a quick sauce and it all bakes together and it's just fantastic. So the sauce starts with one can of the whole berry cranberry sauce, one envelope of dry onion soup mix. Usually comes in a box of two packs. You just need one of those envelopes. And then eight ounces of Russian dressing. So this happens to be a 16 ounce bottle. We're going to use about half of it. And that's the sauce ingredients. I know it doesn't get much easier than that. And trust me, it sounds a little weird. It's fantastic. So you take this sauce and you just pour it over the chicken breasts. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I like to cover this with foil for about a half hour, 40 minutes. Uncover it and let it bake another 15, 20 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. We love serving this dish with uh, mashed potatoes or uh, wild rice, maybe some green beans, steamed broccoli and a salad and you're good to go. Let me show you what it looks like after it bakes. And the house smells, or this morning our studio smells amazing. Something a little bit different for fall and the chicken is just nice and juicy. You've got lots of that great sauce to drizzle on top of rice or mashed potatoes or whatever side dish you're serving with this. This is fantastic. It's my cranberry chicken bake. I promise you need to make this sometime this fall. It is yummy. And you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. We're going to stick with that whole cranberry theme, and I'm going to show you how to do an apple cranberry pork roast in your slow cooker on Good Day Wisconsin Sunday, so make sure and watch. And on Living with Amy today, we're taking a little trip a trip to Italy. No, you don't have to pack a thing. We're just going to bring a little bit of Italy to you with all sorts of great new Italian recipes. Chicken saltambocca. We're also doing homemade gnocchi with a homemade marinara sauce and a wonderful uh, lemon Italian cheesecake. So make sure and watch an all new show, all new recipes. Living with Amy, 10 o'clock, right after live with Kelly and Michael. And if you're looking for this cranberry chicken bake recipe, you can get it on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Pete and Rachel will be right back. Stay with us. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.